Hi everyone, this is Matt from drawingtutorialsonline.com. I wanted to take a moment here on YouTube to share a coaching video with you. Uh, Peter is a coaching student. We've been working together for over six months now. His goal is to get better at drawing portraits. He draws a lot of guy portraits. This was one of the few female portraits that he worked on. So I think this video went about 35 minutes. I cut it short. Uh, this is a 20 minute video and I just kind of really work on top of his drawing uh, digitally and point out some things that uh, he might want to do traditionally with the pencil in terms of shapes, edges, and all that fun stuff. Um, right now, the coaching is closed, although I will be opening the coaching again uh, for new students in June, July, and August of 2021. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So enjoy the video. Leave a comment below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And I'll see you on Saturday for for our live stream. Talk soon. So this edge just needs to be a little sharper. This edge needs to be a little bit sharper as well. And it doesn't need to be sharpened with an outline. It could be sharpened with a tone. Making this ear a little bit darker. Not a lot, just a little bit sharpened with a tone. And that just makes all the difference in the world for me in terms of the integrity of the top to bottom. See how when we take that simple little tweak away and when we add it, how much stronger her head becomes um, visually in space. Okay, and now when we come to the other side, the other ear is light, okay? So we, we can lose the edge there, but I'm gonna come on down and do the jawbone and make the jawbone symmetrical. Again, it does not need to be done with a line. This could be done with a, just a tone that you bring to the very, very edge. I'm doing it with a line just because it's quick right now. And her jawbone is extremely symmetrical. So we're gonna curve that in. Okay, and, and that just helps so much. Now her neck, she's got a really thin neck bring that in and now we're going to lift up the shoulder just a little bit feather it away look at the negative space you don't have to copy this exactly okay just feather that away a little bit more there I think would help now the ear we could um, just use artistic license those ears are level so we want them to be level, use our artistic license and put some hair around that ear just a little bit. So we don't have to go too crazy with um, trying to make that ear darker. Now, if I get a little bit of a thicker brush to save time and go a little bit more opaque with it, I see this hair over here. This is good, thicker little bit more square over here angular I should really say and um, yeah I would do the strands of hair with my eraser now our line that separates is here and then it comes down it wraps around it's up here obviously you're not gonna be doing a dark line like what I'm doing but I'm just trying to show you how I'm seeing it. And then this goes right into the chin. So I would just treat this with the diagonal pencil stroke, and then I'd switch to a looping pencil stroke down that way. A little bit darker and bigger with that ear. Her ear is right in the middle of her eyebrow. I think you did a pretty good job there. And uh, obviously my line that separates is a little too aggressive. So we're just gonna grade, try our very best to gradate into the light. So with a pencil, I might do that type of stroke over there and then just kind of smudge it and blend it a little bit and that would do the trick. Um, now with my eraser, I'm gonna come on in here. I think the elephant in the room is her eyes and eyelashes and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, but I'm going to just take my kneaded eraser and pull out 
very strongly over here. That light. Take the mono zero eraser, pull out very strongly over under her eye. The highlight, the bridge of her nose, the highlight, the eyelid, the highlight, and over here, her makeup is what is making her face look shiny. We don't have to make it look shiny, but I'm just trying to be true to it. Above the lip, highlight over here, highlight on the chin. So that helps to make it look more like her. And then on the neck, we're going to go extremely, and we're going to lighten up that line that I put for the jawbone. And we're going to make this lighter. Highlight on the neck. Okay, cool. Now, um, I feel as though uh, the big thing that is missing on this drawing of this woman here is um, her big dark eyes, big dark eyelashes, just lightening that jawline on the light side. And there's a shadow side over here from the lip, cast shadow. I don't like how that looks, how I just did it, but you can do it much softer than what I did. And yep, okay. Now, let's try her eyes. So her eyes are classic half circles. Especially this one. This one's a little bit taller. We'll get it with the white of the eye. And now let's use the white of, well, actually, let's not do the white of the eye. Let's get the lash line. So her eyes are a little bit closer together. This is what I focus in on the most. As soon as we do that, it, she just pops out. So the lash line just needs to be bigger, softer, darker. Bigger, softer, darker. I'm going to lighten this, make it lighter, higher. Good. Now, let's do the eyelid line. doesn't need to be as dark as the lash line, but we're going to put it in nonetheless. Tear duct. Tear ducts are much closer. They're even closer than what I just did there. That looks pretty good. We don't want to go too dark with that. The lashes need to be thicker. Now we can start to fuss with the white of the eye. So white of the eye over here, we want to lift up this eye. And we can add the highlight now with our eraser. Now let's move over to the other eye and work this with our eraser. And really it's only white on the right side because that's the side that's facing the light source. But I'm going to cheat a little bit, add a little light over there, add the light top plane on the lid. And let's work on that lower eyelid. We're going to lift it up. Or at least we're going to try to. Much darker on that whole side. And now we can lower this eye a little bit more because it's lower than the other one. And let's add the highlight and make it a little smaller. Now the other eye I think needs to be bigger. So I'm going to move it into the center. 
So I'm not doing the lashes, the individual lashes. I'm just focusing in on the lashes as a unit. And now I can start to do the individual lashes. In terms of the eyebrow, we haven't really gone there yet, but it's higher slightly. And this one is higher slightly, not really actually, let's see, let's see. It just is closer to the side of her head, which is gonna make her whole eye thing feel bigger eye area and let's go back with the highlight highlight do that with your eraser and let's add she's got a lot of makeup on I would never go that dark under the eye, but for her, I would do it just because of the makeup. And um, that helps, okay? And now if we come over here with this, it tilts smaller nostril is the, gonna be the key here. So let's just color pick. Okay, shadow side of the nose, but let's not go there yet. Let's add a light front plane. I would be doing that with my eraser. Do this with your eraser, lighten that side. And um, let's just do shadow side under plane. A little bit more over here. So I can work on this for a very long time, but this is my quick go through. And we want to make that nostril less obvious. I'm not liking that. So let's backtrack. And that nostril is just too big. Okay, so I don't get stuck in the weeds. Um, let me just work on it a little bit more here. Good. Okay. Uh, lower lip. A little bit more blending into the skin tone. A little bit more light over here. Need to be a little bit more aggressive with it all. Lighter over here. Use your eraser. And her lashes are bigger still. And I didn't capture her eyes. Not yet. I would have to work on it for a little while longer. Okay. Um, yeah, there's something about her eyebrows are a little further apart. And she has like a special shape to her eye that I'm not capturing. 
And I think what it is is that the sides of her iris are kind of tilted. And I'd have to sit here for a while <laughs> and work on this, which I'm not going to get it in a short period of time. Okay. Um, and then this eye is going a little bit more straight up and down the side of the iris. And there's no white of the eye there. I'm just putting the white of the eye there so you can see what I'm doing. Now, in terms of zooming out and um, the rest of it, brush mat, brush. Her chin is very square. I would not be doing these dark lines. I'm just doing this for the critique. And then there's a reflected light. Good. You need to do some long strokes. I'm being very sloppy with it right now, but sometimes these long strokes are really warranted. And I would leave it there. So now let's put the highlight on the ear with our kneaded eraser. And her chin is really short. So last thing, uh, I told you that the edge needs to be uh, deliberate, and so I need to make it a little bit more deliberate. And the reverse gradation. Okay, still needs work, but um, those, that's my critique for that image. And uh, let's just make this mouth wider and rounder. Let's um, look at the original. Her eyes are still darker. God, still darker. Framing out the face is what I'm missing. So you'd be surprised at what framing out the face will do to the likeness. Just like that. Like that just helped so much. Lift up the eyebrows after just for fun if you want to do that. And sometimes it's, work, it's good to work on it when everything is much smaller. You can see things a little bit better that way. Let's look at the original. So it's, it's all in the eyes and it's all in the edge of the portrait. And of course, it's about time. Time is going to be the, the element as to whether or not you're going to get the likeness 100% or you're not. So I would need a little bit more time on this to really get the likeness, but I think I would push this one a little bit more, Peter. I think it would be really, really good for you to do that. So you're going to be working some with the eraser. Um, you're going to be working some with the pencil. You're going to be adding a lot. Now, I, yeah, I, I would consider doing that. All right, I'm having way too much fun here. I've got to stop. And um, 
Her upper lip is that's that's the thing. Her upper lip is just much bigger on her face and uh much closer to the edge of her jawline. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next one. 